Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So let's start to exploring in SAP S4 HANA sourcing and procurement here. So today we are going to be explore the one more new thing here that is into your master data into the SAP. So in our ECC, we are regularly creating our material master by using the mm 01 t code. So in SAP S4 HANA, SAP has introduced new Fury app to create the material master that is your manage product master data. That is the newly introduced app to create a material master here. Okay. Name also is updated. That is your product master here. Okay. Sometimes it's called as a product article or a material all are the similar are there okay as per the business it will be called as a material master product master or your articles are there okay so today we are going to be learn here what are the advantages to be used into the this manage product master data so few new advantages has been launched here so that we can discuss here. So this is the theory tile for the to manage the product master data here. So click on that. Once you open that, then this is the basic screen will be open up to manage the product master data here. So this is instead of the material, we have everything that is the product number. You can put it here. Then description of the product means what? The description of the material then here global trade item number okay few of the materials have the is global trade item number if you have that also you can put and product category this is also if you want to put product category that is your item category here product group is your item group or material group is there okay so if you want to create the new material or new product into the hana then we can click on the go option as you click on the go here we'll get the list of the product how many products are created under this server so 3204 this is the overall list of your product if you want to go and cross check this go to the SLXN table level we can cross verify the same list of the materials will be available there so if you want to create the new product master here we can click on to the create as we click on to the create this is the general data of our product master will be open here so where we can put the basic unit of a major that is each as per your requirement you can search it and select it here okay then product type what is the product type nothing but is your material type into the ECC. So we can select the standard raw material here. Okay. Then GTIN as per mention. This is the global trade item number. If you have, you can just put it here. This is just optional entry is there. Then next important field is your what? Material group. It will be changed into the product group here. Okay. So we can select the product group as per your requirement. You can search it here. So there are the many product groups are available here okay so we are selected as a 01 which is the standard product group here then important thing is about your work description of the material okay so all this information like a base unit product type product group and the description of your product we can maintain at a client level okay so let's put This is the description of the product which we have mentioned here okay leading glass tube so this is all information at your client level then we can click on to the okay so this is the client level information we have put it so here we can just see what are the advantages of using this product master into the sap s4 hana 
so first what we are going to be maintain that is your plant so next to the here arrow there is option called as a plant here so this is the advantages here if at a single time we can create a same material for the multiple plants here under the plants we have the option if you want to maintain the same material for the multiple plants okay if you are working for the rollout project correct similar materials are used under the different different plants in ecc how we are managing this part by using the mm01 ticket okay every time for a single single plant we can extend the material but in ana into the product master so this is the advantage which at the same time we can extend that material to the multiple plants here so here we can just mention for which plant we are going to be extending the material so here the plant is gi p1 okay after the plant then we can go for the storage locations one by one you can go here okay purchasing what is the work purchase group that we can just mention here gi p1 okay similar gi1 purchasing group for the raw material similar way we can go for the storage location as well here mrp type so as of now we don't want any uh, mrp here okay then again we can go okay the storage location also same thing for the storage locations also at a single time we can create the multiple storage locations as well click on to the create here if you want to extend that material to the storage location multiple so rm00 is our storage location for this gfn plan click on to the create similar way if you want to extend that storage location what we need to do just click on to the create enter the second storage location. similar way you can extend the material to the multiple storage location by using this create option click on to the grid again third is there as per your requirement you can extend the storage location under that single branch these are the storage locations that are available in between that whichever you want that you can just select it here and you can extend that material to that specific storage location this is the again advantage of the using manage product master data here into the SAP. okay then next this is the advanced planning this is one more type or one more introduce new things into the hana where which is the combination of your pp and advanced planning which is introduced into the newly here okay that is managed by your pp okay so this is the advancement which is given and just click on to the apply okay so where we have maintained the data for the single plant as of now here okay again if we want to extend the data to the second plan again go to the create second plan also we can just extend it here okay same time okay we can extend that material to the gip2 plant as well okay single time we are able to manage this data okay so which data is required to enter that just fill up and go to the next mrp we can just set it as the nd for second plant as well because we don't want to go for the uh, no planning okay similar way storage locations also for this plant we want to create or we need to be extend the material for the multiple storage locations correct one location we have selected again we want to go with the second click on to the create similar way We have maintained the two storage location a single time. This is the advantage of using this. So we need to be explained to the our client using the managed product master data into the SAP S4. Then next, what is the our view? After your general data, purchasing data we have mentioned. The next that is your valuation area, or it's also called as accounting view in HANA there is no any accounting view is available directly we have the valuation area option is available click on the valuation area there we can click on to the create 
where we can maintain the valuation area is always our what plant that is your gip one that we can mention and the valuation class similar way it's the raw material we can mention as a 3000 okay click on to the apply then again for this second plant we want to activate correct then again click on to the create for the gip2 plant also we need to be mention the same so at a time what happened we have created the data for the two plants are here after entering this just click on to the create as we click on to the create system can save the data and our product master will be the created here you can see this is our leading glass tube lgt will be created here so let's jump into the display mode here correct in ecc how we can display in mm03 similar the data is available there as well go to the mm03 same data we can just able to display there here okay whatever the description we have entered whatever the material groups correct then purchasing data then accounting storage location and accounting view for this plant that is the 3000 valuation class and whatever the information we have entered this is for the gip1 plant again if you want to see okay we can open the mm60 enter the material that material we have defined for the two plants at a single time gip1 as well as the gip2 and we have extended to the multiple storage locations so this is the advancement which will be available here into the sap s4 ana by using the manage product master data here by using the fiori apps if you want to change anything it's a it option is available otherwise we can go for the manage product master data and one more thing is here if we want to add any image that image option is also available whatever the product we are creating correct so that product creating this image option is available go edit and here just put the url after url putting we are able to add the image of that product as per the requirement here so this is the few advancement which is given to manage the product master data in sap s4 on a sourcing and procurement so right now can you see these are the total 3205 products are available if you want to search your product enter the product number otherwise product description is there correct so our, what is the product description that we can enter just search it here leading last tip here so this is we have okay let me search here here we can search and we'll get the our product list as per our requirement here okay if not then we can search here okay whatever the list of your materials in mm60 whatever i've shown you here okay for one plant you can get the list of your product masters also there okay this is the way how we can manage the product master in sap s4 on a sourcing and procurement thank you guys if anyone wants to get to more insight in sap s4 on a sourcing and procurement please visit our website www.taxkills.com please like share and subscribe this youtube channel for more updates thank you